Hey guys, this is Christoph from Click. I'm back with another video on Picasso and this time it is about brushing. Brushing is actually the capability of the chart to respond to a click and also to trigger off a selection in the Sense Engine. Let's see how this works. And for this purpose, I'm going to uh, GitHub. And in my repositories, the new one is called Picasso template. So let's download this for, for now on the click server. You would go into QMC to import it. In this case, I'm just copying it. And then I go to the extensions folder, which is given here, documents, click, sends, extensions, and uh, expand it. So I have a new folder here. That means when I go back to the dev hub, probably I refresh it. And when I click on new extension, I will see uh, that there is a new template added. Usually you have like six templates out of the box. And now I have a Picasso template. So let's make a donut chart with Picasso. As you create and edit it, this um, code is prepared for you. And now um, let's go to picasso.js.com onto the nice examples and steal the code for the donut chart. So it has a legend and it has a pie chart. And here I'm interested in only the settings. So watch this. I'm looking, scrolling down where the uh, settings object is ending. I found that in the second last line. So anything here, um, and if you use Ctrl X, uh, the settings array should close. So you see, you have got the right, you know, nesting of um, uh, brackets, layers, and go back into the extension editor. And this goes between these two lines of triangles in the code. Um, theoretically, that is done with the code. Now it's also a good idea to say, okay, I need at least one dimension and one measure so that uh, click sense starts off with the right dialog. And now I'm in a demo app. You can use, of course, any app. And go to the custom objects and pick our the Picasso extension. Here it is. Yeah, and it asks me to add a dimension, which I will do. Call this year, call this... Um, some sales and it's not going to paint it if you have a quick look into the developer options pressing f12 you will see it complains that the field year isn't found um, so the reason being is the data in the original code expects a data field year and here it is not called year so the easiest way to fix this is just call it so that the same way so that um, the Picasso code is happy. So this is um, year and sales. And uh, to do this in a proper way, you would go back and rename the fields according to this uh, syntax here. So in wherever it reads year, we can call this um, dimension info zero. Now you need to know what is a measure and what is a dimension from your properties. And wherever it was called sales, um, put it in this syntax, save, refresh. Then it should also work if you give it different labels. So now you can name it as you want. So fix this one. So as you can see, 
this is not responding to any click and now we want to do brushing so you go to the code and search for brushing uh, i've commented out a few things that if you don't need brushing you can just ignore and now i add this and this does a little combination of um, using the backend API and also using the extension API. But for now, I'm just I'm commenting those two blocks here, uh, which are defining some functions. And when I scroll down um, here, it also provides a code snippet. This needs to go next to the component where it reads like key and data uh, type. Um, <clears throat> and in this case, I want to make the Pi segments brushable and save this. And that should do brushing. Let's check. And yes, it does select. Uh, if I confirm, I made a selection. If I put the red X here, it's uh, canceling the selections that I was just about to begin, as any other chart would do. Thanks to Miralem Drag who helped me to put this code together. And with that, we've made a brushable and selectable chart. Let's close this video off with some recommendations and tips around Picasso in the meanwhile. Number one. The Picasso extension that allows you to do inline coding side by side. So you, you are staying inside the object and you don't know, don't need to go to, you know, dev hub, uh, save, refresh on the other end. So instantaneously when, as you type, you see the effect on the chart. This has been done by Aquanet. Um, the second one has been done by, by my colleague, Stephen Pressland. And this is the no coding uh, approach. Um, so everything around the Picasso chart can be defined by a very complete property panel on the right. And he's also filmed a video about this on YouTube. And the last tip is add yourself to Slack and join the discussions on Picasso GS in the click branch Slack. And here's the link for the invites. So. Thank you for watching this and stay tuned. Happy painting with Picasso.